When I lost my sister, it was like, what am I gonna do now? Why her? Why not me? Why couldn't it just be me? I'm Kylie Sari. I'm 20 years old. I'm from the Philippines. I'm a singer, actor, and this is my story. Mental health means to me, honestly, it's just as important as physical. It really does control what you can do with your life. If you're not able to beat your own mental battles, you're not going to be able to really get through the world because the only person that can keep you up there is yourself. My little sister, Isabella, is my everything. Even before the day she was born, I told myself I would dedicate my life to her, and I'll make sure that she's always happy. So I found out, um, actually, the day of my 19th birthday, Bella was diagnosed with brain cancer. I was in the Philippines. She was in the States. They were just there for vacation. So after a year, almost a year, of fighting cancer, she passed away in April. I actually found out about her passing when I was on the set of a movie. As soon as I got home from shooting the movie, I let all my stress out, shouting and asking so many questions as to why. Why her out of everyone in the world? Why her? Mind you, she was only 12 years old. Grief has been taking a big toll on my mental health just because it comes in waves. One day I can be completely happy, but the next day I just see a stuffed toy of hers and I can cry. Nothing can really prepare you for the fact that one day that one person that was really special to you is going to say bye. Even though it was probably one of the best years of my career, 2023 was the worst year of my fucking life. Um, I lost my number one source of happiness and emotionally it was such a roller coaster for me. If I were to say I'm okay, I'd be lying. You know, I'd be I'd be lying if to say I was 100% okay. I've always been a very family-oriented person. But when it came to this for some reason, it was so hard for me to like open up to mom. When it started getting to the point where I couldn't sleep anymore, it's when I realized, you know, maybe I'm not okay. The only one that was really holding myself from becoming better was myself. I told myself, maybe this is the time that you look for help. And that's when I looked to my mom, my dad, my best friends. My mom was really there for me. Hey, mama, I don't think you really know how much that talk we had recently. That simple, how are you doing that? That simple, I know you want Bella to be okay, but I want you to be okay and happy. It meant a lot, mama. Thank you for choosing to be there for me. If there's anyone that can bring you back up, it's yourself. It's all just a matter of being able to open up and being able to accept the fact that you're not okay and look for help. I try to tell my sister's story through social media. Every month, I try my best to still post a picture of her just so everyone remembers how beautiful of a sister I have. I have this tattoo right here too. These are not the only tattoos I'm gonna get. I know I'm gonna get so many more dedicated to her and probably some that aren't dedicated to her, but that's for a side story that my dad will not hear. <laughs> if there's something about grief that I want people to learn is that don't expect yourself to be okay right away because you're never going to be able to expect how you're feeling when it comes to the day that you're actually gonna lose your loved one. From me to you, I know you feel like the world's against you and that nothing can help you at the end of the day. But just know that there's a lot of people that actually care for you. Never be scared to open up. It's okay to allow the feelings to get to you. Have that moment of crying. Allow yourself to shout. These are all just stepping stones to being okay maybe tomorrow. Maybe the next day. Maybe next week. Maybe next month. We're gonna be okay one day. Don't allow it to get to you.